Hello ladies and gentlemen, you may know me as the Grim's List or the Grim Reaper. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about zoo files. So there's two ideas of zoo file I can literally explain to you. There's one that is contact and one that is non-contact, which I think I should talk about non-contact first, and then I'll get to the contact zoo file then. So the main problem with non-contact zoo file is that, well, first of all, they are attracted to animals. That's really strange in my opinion. But in fact, this isn't even what I want to talk about specifically about just the attraction. I'm talking about these people spread out like it's a pride to be attracted to animals. So meaning that they'll basically explain how proud they are to be a zoophile that is attracted to animals. It's very strange in my opinion that you would be proud to be attracted to animals when it's very strange and odd. I'm going uh, be honest, the issue isn't just that they're attracted to animals. It's the idea that they have pride in it and they'll show it to everyone in the world how much they are attracted to animals. In fact, they literally create a certain group of people in the community that are non-contact zoophile that are also around a lot of contact zoophile as well. Now, I know a lot of non-contact zoophile are going to be complaining about this YouTube video that I'm making because I'm literally trashing on them, but they deserve it, to be honest. Think of it like basically if someone was attracted to children, would you take them that seriously or would you just let them go out and show how much you're attracted to children? Let's not forget that it is still a concern to see people being attracted to animals. Now if you're getting the help you need and you're getting a therapist or getting all the help that you need, then sure. But most of the zoophile aren't even getting help. They're just going out there being proud of being a zoophile instead of actually getting the help that they actually need. Like, holy crap. The big problem about zoo non-contact is that basically they surround themselves with often pro-contact and don't realize it 90% of the time. But they literally do surround themselves around them because they still have pride in the zoo file and literally they put the zeta symbol to literally show how much they're proud of it now i'm gonna be real you should never be proud to be attracted to animals nor children this is something disgusting and you should get help from it's pretty obvious to get help but most people won't get the help they need because they just want to avoid it the other issue that I have with them is that non-contact zoophile get so angry because people make fun of them so much and they put them down and they wonder why people are putting them down but you're literally having pride in this stuff like why are you making this like it's a reward this isn't even a reward this is again something you need to get help I mean I don't even know why I have to explain myself a hundred times about this, but apparently I do because people think it's okay to be attracted to animals and show that you have pride all over the media and to only make pro contact get away with stuff easier. Now that being said, pro contacts are very much worse, but that doesn't stop non-contact from making it hard to catch these people. Now, it's kind of like putting your hand in warm water. When it's warm, you don't feel a lot. But if it gets warmer and warmer and it gets hotter, you will probably not feel it as much until it's too late. It's kind of the same idea when it comes to zoophile. If you go out thinking it's okay to be attracted, then it's okay to have some sexuality towards it. Then it's okay to basically look at pornography then after it's okay to basically have sexual intercourse with the animal it only goes from one step to the next 
And people don't normally understand that type of thing. But you really do have to understand this. And this is why I am concerned about non-contact zoophile. They surround themselves with pro-contact quite often and they will continue to act like it's okay to be around these people and eventually they might actually commit the action. Now, to be real, contact zoophile are very bad people, all right? They're pretty much like the idea of if someone had sex with a child but instead of it being a child they basically do it to an animal and basically act as if it's a normal thing to do now there are cases where people actually abuse the living crap out of them but all i'm gonna say is having sex with any dog or any animal in general whether you're abusing them or not it's all abuse in any form it doesn't matter what way you want to put it it's all wrong now if that doesn't explain to you enough and you can't understand it fully let me explain it the best way as I can having sex with an animal is not right it is wrong they are not the same species as a human being a dog should be mating with a dog a human is to mate a human a giraffe is to mate a giraffe it's this simple it shouldn't be complex i know a lot of people in the zoophile community act like it's such a difficult thing to understand but come on man this isn't like albert einstein trying to figure out the biggest hardest complex math this is the simplest thing even a child knows better the issue with pro-contact zoophile is they think it's okay to have sexual intercourse with animals because as long as it's consensual, but the issue is not whether it's consensual or not. The issue is, is you cannot consent to a dog, all right? You cannot consent to any animals because they don't have that mentality of a human, all right? They don't have the same type of intelligence of a human being in the first place. And I mean, it's not that complex to understand that a dog can't have sex with a human. I don't understand why people keep making it like it's okay to do this. It's not. The animal does not have the same mentality as a human. And again, I have to repeat myself because... It seems like these zoophile can't open their brain. Instead, they try to manipulate their own mind and tell themselves it's okay, even though they know themselves what they are doing is wrong. They continue to believe they are right. And instead of looking at the facts and the logical conclusion and understanding from right and wrong, they choose to continue believing on a dumb Yes. Now, honestly, I don't understand why these zoophile are still getting away with so much. They always seem to get away with more every single day. Now there's a bunch of podcasts going on, especially on YouTube, which I don't understand how it's still happening. And they shouldn't even have a platform, to be honest. But anyways, that is my thoughts on this. And again, mating with an animal is morally wrong. It's not right. I don't know why this is seen as a normal thing in a zoophile community. Because it shouldn't have to be. It's simple to understand that you shouldn't have sex with an animal. Instead, you should have sex with, with your own species. Not to mention... Normally, when animals do actually mate, it's not for the same reason as us humans. Most times, it's for animals to be more playful, dominance, and there are some other reasons. But normally, it's not for the same reason as the zoophile. Think of it. Most times, it's actually to do with dominance. I'm going to be real. And to basically create more of the same species i honestly don't know why these zoophile are still putting it like it's okay to basically have sex with them like oh my goodness you need to think about what you're saying because 
what you're doing right now is manipulating your mind to thinking what you're going to do is okay. When you know in your mind that it's wrong, but you don't like to be in self-control. You don't like self-control. You'd rather be controlled. So you let your mind take over instead of being real. So in order to be in self-control, you have to be in charge of your mind. Obviously, these zoophiles aren't in charge of their own mind. They are just going out for their pleasure instead of being real and being smart about what they're doing. That is my final thoughts about this entire stupid, dumb crap they keep doing. Anyways, like, subscribe for more, and if you don't, Slender Men will come after you. Love y'all and peace out.